What's the quickest you ever pulled a starting quarterback into a, a season, starting Steve? Starting quarterback. The first, the, I mean, because Bill O'Brien's done it two years in a row now where he's changed his guy halfway through the first game. Jeez. Well, the first game, Rich, that I ever coached, I didn't have to pull Steve Young. He got a concussion from Warren Sapp in the second quarter. Boom, out. And I'm going, oh, geez, I came all the way here to San Francisco to see this. And then Jerry Rice got hurt about three plays later. Um, but I don't remember pulling a starting quarterback. Um, I, don't, I don't want to say ever, but never in the first half. So what, is, what, is go, what goes through Bill O'Brien's mind where, where he, he can – or let's put it this way. Doesn't that resonate within a locker room? If some guy goes all summer long, this is our guy, we're going in a battle with this guy, and all it takes is 30 minutes of adversity, and it's, it's, we're going to try something else? Well, here's the deal. You, you change quarterbacks for several reasons. Um, sometimes it's like, all right, that's the last straw. He's out, I'm moving on. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case with them. The other, the other reason would be, okay, this, guy, this guy's not, not doing it today. It's not his day. I need a spark. I need something to happen good to get the fans back in the game, uh, see if we can change the, the course here a little bit. And I think that's what he did. Now, Tom Savage is not like he's been around for 12 years and, and starting in this league. He's, he's a young guy, too. And so you saw DeAndre Hopkins, right? Yeah, he said, I want Savage, and, and, and Deshaun Watson's from his school. So I heard that. Yeah, so, so right then and there you say, well, first of all, this, this team is being good. DeAndre's being good about being a good teammate and supporting whoever's there, all right? But um, I think it was a good decision to make a change and see if they can get something going because that was a – Rich, let's face it, that was a different game, okay? That was a different deal down there with Houston. Um, with Hurricane Harvey, with their lack of practice, canceling the preseason game, and this the emotion, and it was it was unbelievable, and and we all thought that that would just carry over into a lopsided victory. Well, it didn't, and so you know he he just. He just said, let's see if we can change our spark right here, and maybe Deshaun Watson can, can pull off a, a minor miracle and, and get us started here. But uh, now he's got a decision to make, you know, because Deshaun did some good things. Um, he wasn't great either, but he, he ran a couple times for some yards. He, he did complete some pass. He did drive him in the end zone one time. So uh, it's going to be interesting. He's, well, well, he's not well, committal right now, isn't well, he? Now, well, I mean, he said that to the media, but he's made his decision now, right? I mean, you can't be non-committal on such a short week on Monday, right? <sighs> yeah, you know, I don't know if he's made a decision. You know, I think he's got to just kind of say, how, how ready is Deshaun Watson? How much practice time? And that's what we, you and I don't know. We, we haven't been there watching practices. Is, is he ready to go win a game in a short week? Um, it's, if, if this were a bye week and you'd say, all right, I'm making a change, he's going to get two weeks of practice snaps, and that might be better for him to play well. But there's only a couple days of shorts practice. That's all you get. You get a little practice in shorts. And so he's got to decide, would, would we embarrass Deshaun Watson by not practicing enough uh, against this other defense, or do we go with the guy who's got a little bit more experience under his belt? What would you do? You know, I I don't know I don't know the kids, Rich. I, I mean, I don't want to dodge the question, but I don't know the kids well enough from practice and all that to say right, this guy's our future. I like Deshaun Watson. He was one of our Under Armour All Americans. Okay, I got I have a little bias, but um, he did show me enough. He's an exciting guy. We watched him against Alabama. You know, he's he's got he seems to have a little bit more upside to me. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. Isn't it amazing you can download an app with your thumbprint? You should download our app with your thumbprint. 